be seated. So after today, no more mandatory reading. No more treks across town to attend classes. No more reaction papers. No more research papers. It's become our creed. It is our guiding principle. It is our mission statement, which says that we empower students to lead meaningful lives and to advance social, economic, and environmental justice. And for that reason, I would like to take this moment to once again renew Antioch University's commitment to human rights, to civil rights, to progressive public policy, to social activism, and to our collective efforts to improve the human condition and the human experience here and abroad. Greatness plus respect equals peace. Peace, my graduates, built on the foundation of greatness with the responsibility of respect is what you as graduates and all of you and all of us futures deserve. Embrace the greatness that you are today, not what we must do again. Respect one another, and in the words of John Lennon, all we are saying is give peace a chance. Congratulations and felicidades, class of 2017. What you should know is that in joining Antioch's alumni, you are joining a large crew of folks who have been fighting for social justice for a long time. You're joining a larger crew that needs you alongside them as we push back. As a woman of color who has experienced firsthand the so-called civilized world's oppressive and repressive connotations, Freud's civilization and its discontents resonated with me. Art history allowed us to see in art what is not so apparent on the surface. Saturday's BSL service learning course granted access to communities I had never experienced before and taught me how to enter these environments without tainting, corrupting, or colonizing them. It was important to learn that there are alternatives to the traditional civic engagement. So graduates, as we take our degrees and begin this new chapter, there is no guarantee that life will be easy. There will be times when the hurdles are high and the disappointments run deep. But we are Antiochians and we will persevere. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what my ancestors is gonna feel if I don't survive. It's been a long, long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. I think of the words of my dear friend, Molly Lowry. Molly was the previous executive director at Housing Works and founder of LAMP Community, now known as The People Concern. And she was also consultant to many other nonprofit organizations that serve LA's homeless population. Shortly before she passed away last July, she told me, Selena, when life gets hard, and it will, stay the course, don't give up, and just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Antioch is a rare place that not only values, but leads with justice. It is inclusive, offering opportunities to people from all walks of life, even if we don't fit a certain mold. Antioch is a place that is not afraid to ask the hard questions. It is a place that pushes back against the status quo. And it urges us to peel back the layers of the problems we face, to uncover the roots to historic injustices to people and the planet. Most importantly, remember historically the backs of the people you stand on today who made it possible for you to have this privilege. Never forget their struggle and often they lost their lives and continue in the Antioch tradition of social justice. I wish for you a wrestling match with your creative muse that will last a lifetime. I wish craziness and foolishness and madness upon you. May you live with hysteria and out of it make fine stories, science fiction or otherwise, which means may you be in love every day for the next 20,000 days and out of that love 
Remake a World. Congratulations, thank you.